Coach Heupel. Coach will make an opening statement and then raise your hand and I will call on you for questions. Coach? Um, great day out there, beautiful day, man. Uh, spring in Knoxville and, and uh, man, appreciate all the VFLs coming back. We've had so many uh, start trickling in really on Thursday and uh, a lot of those guys uh, were out of practices in the, in the lead up to the spring game, uh, but a great weekend for those guys too, some of the festivities. Uh, brotherhood getting an opportunity to, to get together. So great to see uh, a lot of guys back here. Um, fans today were awesome. Um, I know we were limited to uh, to 10,000 because of the uh, $300 million expansion or renovation to the uh, to the stadium, but uh, um, great energy from uh, from everybody and great day just getting uh, our players, families back uh, here into town have an opportunity to see them uh, before the game and then obviously afterwards and, and uh, huge recruiting weekend for us too. So I uh, appreciate all the fans uh, coming out and uh, enjoyed ball walk too, an opportunity to, uh, to honor our basketball program, um, everything that, uh, that those guys accomplished uh, this past regular season and a uh, great group of guys too. Just look at Bescovy and Josiah and what they've meant to this program. Uh, how selfless those guys were inside of the basketball program too is uh, awesome to be a part of, uh, of honoring them today too. So with that, I'll open it up. Questions? Start on the end here. Yeah, if you don't mind, can you just kind of break down the play of really all of your quarterbacks as, as a unit? Yeah, all in all today, I um, thought they handled the mechanics, um, the game-like situation extremely well, uh, decisive, um, accurate for most of the day. A um, couple of balls that were high in, in the middle of the football field, but uh, all in all, I thought uh, they handled themselves extremely well. Which specifically, Jake, could you ask for a much better? Or Talk about Merck? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Could you ask for a much better performance from him? Um, I, I thought he handled himself really well. Um, that's a young guy. You guys have heard me say it just, you know, as a coach, I kind of break it into thirds. Um, you know, the 15 practices that you get during spring ball. And, just his growth fundamentally, uh, understanding uh, what we're doing, defensive structures, um, and uh, being a good decision maker. He's just continued to grow throughout the course of spring ball. Um, so today in front of, uh, of fans and, and uh, have an opportunity to play in the state, I thought he did a really nice job. Yeah, Josh, you hit a few D balls. It seemed like a bunch of different quarterbacks hit D balls at one time or another. Do you, do you feel like from what you've seen this spring that you're going to get the offense back a little more explosive this year when it comes to those big plays. Yeah, uh, all those things um, got to come together. And, and uh, this guy's getting open. Um, it's structure of defenses. It's quarterbacks being in the right spot, being accurate with the ball. It's your protection up front. It's going to take all 11 to, to function and operate that way. Certainly want that, need that um, to create some of those explosive plays. Um, throughout the course of spring ball, um, I thought we've gotten better here the second half of, of being more uh, on the same page and, and um, being more accurate with the football. Okay. You've got some good options there at wide receiver. What, how do you decide, like, where's the cutoff of the rotation when you get in the season? Like, what are you looking for of the three, four, five, six guys that fit? Guys are going to play at a championship level, uh, earn the right to, to play. Coach's responsibility, put them in a position to go do the things that they do at a really high level. Um, don't ask them to do things they can't do. Ask them to do things that they, they can do. And so, um, you know, with everything when we first got here as, as a staff and, the, and where our program was at, um, you know, being smart and intentional with the things that we've had to deal with to grow our roster. Um, you know, this is the deepest wide receiver pool that we've had. Now, there's a lot of young guys within our system that still have a lot of growth that they gotta gotta make before we get to um, you know the opener, but really before we get to training camp too. And um, you know, that's you know freshman transfers, young guys inside of our system. Um, but I, I love the competitiveness of that group. They've made plays. Fundamentally, they're getting so much better. Um, you know, releases, um, the ball not in their hands, how they're blocking, um, understanding how to, to stem and work, you know, second, third level defenders. Um, it's been uh, been really good to see how they've grown and, and uh, a lot left out there for them. Where do you feel like the secondary is at? Yeah, um, you know, we gave up a couple of big plays uh, today that uh, we were just out of position and, and um, 
you know, all in all, that group, length, athleticism, you've heard me say it uh, throughout the course of spring ball that I, I really do like the athletic traits that we've um, got inside of that room, uh, most athletic that we've been, um, you know, at all five five spots. Um, they've made plays, um, and at uh, the end of the day, we've got to find, you know, a core group that, uh, including guys that we can rotate in, that uh, we'll go play at the level we need them to, but all in all, I really like that group. Vince in the back. Coach, Vince, they kicked you to the back today or what, yeah, man? I know Jeez. Jesus. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Pulled the trump card on you, huh? <laughs> How much did you guys utilize the in-helmet communication? It looked like you guys just moved in the old school signaling and stuff. How, how was that? How did that work today and how is that working? Yeah, still a work in progress as, um, as we continue into uh, to training camp. You know, I think everybody inside of our league was limited to uh, three of those devices that would work and operate on a day-to-day -day basis, including the scrimmages. And so, <clears throat> you know, we put two of them all on the offense side early in spring ball, transitioned it to the defense, both sides, got to, you know, tinker and play with, you know, how it's going to function and operate. And, and our communication system will continue to evolve, you know, as, as uh, we have a better idea with that. Wes? In uh, was a lot of those newcomers there at receiver as a group sort of what, what have they added to that room? And you know, what have you liked from what you've seen from them this spring? Um, athleticism, ability to, to go attack the football at the catch point in competitive situations that can be over the middle, can be, you know, a deep ball that, you know, someone would call 50-50, a uh, 50-50 ball. Um, I think those guys have continued to refine their traits at the line of scrimmage um, in press man coverage. It's the transition for every high school, high level high school wide receiver as they come to college. Typically, you know, they're seeing a bunch of off coverage and making sure the, you know, the defense we're seeing isn't getting run by. And, and uh, so learn how to play at the line of scrimmage. Um, they work, they compete, um, they get the ability to make plays. Josh, can you assess how the two mid-years from Bradley Central, Boo and Marcus? Yeah. I mean, obviously Boo was busy and has been busy, but I hadn't heard much about Marcus. Can you just talk about how those two and Both of those guys, um, you know, love their traits in the in the building. They're, they're high-level, competitive individuals. Um, that have grown within the structure of our, our program, doing the right things um, outside of the building uh, as well. Uh, they're intentional in the way that you know they sit in the meeting room, soak up knowledge, and try to grow, grow in their understanding of fundamentals, technique, and scheme. Um, they uh, they're physical guys. Um, you know we do try tackle sessions. Both those guys are willing to stick their face in it. Um, they have speed. Um, you know you saw Boo catch uh, some returns today. And um, you know, Marcus is a guy. You know, since he got here, I think he's put on you know twenty plus plus pounds um, in a short amount of time. I think that speaks to just how focused and intentional they are and what they're doing every day. So, two young guys uh, from here in state that uh, absolutely love. Paige, then Patrick. Back here, coach. Um, what stood out to you about John Bishop today, especially the way he stood uh, stood up in spring practice and then what showed out today in spring? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, for him coming off of his injury, getting healthy, um, having, a, 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 for the most part, in, in our build-up to spring ball, had a, had a full off-season. Um, thought he did a really good job. Um, got a ton of, of opportunity this spring. <clears throat> Felt like coming off of the injury, um, whether it was mentally or just transitioning back into the ball side of it, um, continued to grow um, really well throughout the course of the spring. Um, you know, he's ran well, sees it, um, what's happening up in front of him extremely well, and, and uh, you know, does a great job pressing the line of scrimmage, using blockers. Um, I thought today he got behind his pads uh, probably better than he has. Um, that's an area of growth for all of our running backs that we got to get better at as we get uh, get to kickoff. Josh, Mike Matthews had the, the big touchdown play, but I think he also had a block on one of the first touchdowns. What does that say about his mindset that freshman comes in? They all want to make big plays like he yeah. made, but he's, a, he's willing to, to be physical on the edge. Well, it's one of the ways, you know, Mike's experience is on the defensive side of the ball just in high school. Um, he's grown in his understanding of how to be physical and still be in a good body position, but he's a willing, uh, willing to be physical. Um, he's continued to grow throughout the course of spring. Playing without the ball in his, in, in his hands, and um, you know, uh, he's a guy that uh, goes about his business every day and uh, competes extremely hard. He's got a, a high competitive care factor makeup. 
Coach, what do you think about the um, D line today and how they progressed over spring? Yeah, all in all, uh, like that that group, um, who they are in the meeting room, um, how they interact, uh, coach each other on our, you know, on the practice field, but in the meeting room too. Um, they've done a great job. Um, some experience that's helping the young guys grow. Um, that room's you know changed so much over the course of, of my tenure here. You know, Coach Banks and Coach G and, and Coach Eck have done a great job uh, with the makeup of, of who the people are and you know their accountability inside of our program. Um, they've been violent. I think they've done. Uh, I think they've grown with their ability to play with their hands. That's in pass rush, but it, it's also. Um, you know, snagging off the blocks and, and being able to uh, to make plays in the run game too. So, um, <clears throat> our first group, obviously today, um, you know, those guys were, were limited in the number of plays some of those vets got. But uh, all in all, it's a it's a really good group. Last two, Reese then Adam. Coach, uh, what's different about Nico at this point compared to this point last year? Um, just yeah, there's so much growth, like from. Any quarterback as they go through the early stages of, of learning what it takes to play college football, um, you know how intentional, how much time he spends inside of the building, which leads to the understanding of what we're doing offensively. Understanding the why behind it uh, is really important for players as well. Um, the structures of defenses, protections, um, being able to understand when you're hot, when you got to get rid of the ball out of your hands, how to slide protections and, and get yourself in, in good matchups. Um, Controls our quarterbacks control a lot more than people think in, in a run game, um, you know, and, and uh, just continued growth there. So, got really good command. He does a great job uh, being intentional on a leadership role, communication role, in one on one situations. Um, Going to have to continue to grow as, as a leader inside of our program as he goes through his career. Um, that's typical of every young quarterback. Transfer portal opens in a few days. What factors we all look into about whether or not you need to add somebody, and how different is that? Those evaluations compared to like the the previous transfer portal window. Yeah, end of the day, you're you're trying to make your roster as good as it can be, um, and um, you know we'll we'll go through that process, have exit meetings with uh, our own players. Uh, I think the culture piece is extremely important, in particular at this time of the year. Um, because there's not a lot of time with them um, before you get to uh, to training camp. So it's got to be mature guys that uh, that you're bringing this in into your program too. All right, thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. You guys have a great day.